Welcome back. In this tutorial, you'll get a hands-on walkthrough of how to use Amazon Lex. Ever wondered how Alexa understands what you say? With Amazon Lex, you can build similar conversational experiences, no deep AI knowledge needed. Amazon Lex is a fully managed service for creating chatbots and voice assistants using natural language. It uses the same deep learning technologies as Alexa, making it powerful, scalable, and easy to integrate. Alright, let's dive in and see how it works. Let's click on Create Bot. Lex gives you two options, Generative AI Bots and Traditional Bots. With Generative AI, you simply describe what you want the bot to do. Lex uses Amazon Bedrock to generate it automatically. This method is advanced and requires Bedrock to be set up. Let me show you how to create without creating fully, as it requires Amazon Bedrock to be set up. Enter bot name. Create a role with basic Amazon Lex permissions. You can also use if you have an existing one. I will choose an existing one that I created earlier while practicing. Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, select No. The default idle session timeout is fine. In advanced setting, we can add tags. Click on Next. Now on this screen, for language used by bot for communication, default English is fine. Voice of Danielle is fine. We can choose other voices as well and can play voice sample. Intent classification confidence score threshold default is fine. What it means is that bot will use fallback intent when the score falls below threshold. Here we can describe what you need this bot to do. For example, we can write, we want bot to help customers order food and other related details. And then select the model. Click on done. That way you can set up generative AI bot. Now, let's look into how to use the traditional method. In traditional, there are three options. We create a blank bot, start with an example, or start with transcript. We will use start with an example as this option provides pre-configured languages, intents, and slot types and you can change these settings. In the blank bot, we don't get pre-configured languages, intents, and slot types. In case of using start with transcripts option, it automatically generate intents from conversation transcripts that you upload. Only English language is available when starting with a transcript. Let's choose start with an example option. Select example bot. There are three example bots provided, book trip which helps make reservations necessary for a visit to a city, make appointment which helps book a dentist appointment, and order flowers which helps order flowers on the behalf of a user. We will choose book trip example bot for this tutorial. Let's name it. This example simulates a travel booking assistant. We'll create a basic IAM role with default permissions. And for the compliance question, select no. Our bot isn't subject to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Rest default is fine. Click next. Set the language to English and default Danielle's voice is fine. Then click done. Lex starts configuring the bot. Now we're inside the Lex bot builder. Here, bots are structured around intents, each intent represents a user's goal. This sample bot has three intents. Book hotel. Book car. Fallback, used when no intent matches. Let's explore the book hotel intent. It defines the conversation flow for booking a hotel. When a user says something like, book a hotel. That's called an utterance, a phrase that triggers the intent. The bot then asks follow-up questions to gather details. What city will you be staying in? What day do you want to check in? How many nights will you be staying? What type of room would you like, queen, king or deluxe? These inputs are called slots, they hold key booking info. Once all slots are filled, the bot confirms the intent. Then, it can fulfill the request, often by calling a lambda function. If connected, the lambda function receives all slot values. And can process the hotel booking. There's also a visual builder that shows the full conversation flow. From the start, to slot filling, to success or failure paths. You can zoom in to see how each slot is handled. And where the lambda gets invoked. This visual layout gives a clear overview. And complements the text-based editor. Once your bot is built, you can test the bot. Let's build the bot. Now bot is ready. Let's test our bot. I want to book a trip. What city will you be staying in? Varanasi. What day do you want to check in? April 15th. How many nights will you be staying? Five. What type of room would you like, queen, king or deluxe? King. Okay, I have you down for a five-night stay in Varanasi starting April 15, 2025. Shall I book the reservation? Yes. 
Intent Book Hotel is fulfilled. With Lex, you can easily add more intent, customize user messages, and design interactive bots, all in one place. Of course, this was just a demo tutorial, not a fully featured, production-ready bot. In a real-world application, you would likely integrate AWS Lambda functions and a database such as DynamoDB to handle actions like booking a trip. Also, when deploying a bot, you typically create a version and assign an alias. In this example, we worked with the draft version. But hopefully, this gave you a solid understanding of how Amazon Lex works. Amazon Lex follows a pay-as-you-go pricing model, with no upfront costs or minimum fees. LexBots can handle two types of interactions, request response and streaming conversations. In the request response model, each user message, whether voice or text, is treated as a separate API call. In contrast, streaming conversations allow multiple user inputs in a single session to be handled through one continuous API call. Pricing is determined by the interaction type you choose, either per request or per streaming session. To recap, Amazon Lex helps you build smart, natural, and scalable chatbots, with both traditional and AI-powered methods.